too. So today I got to take my car out of the trailer. Just got back from the mountains uh, earlier this week. Didn't have time to take it out, so I left it in the trailer, locked it up, um, and I'm going to take you through the process of, of removing the car from the trailer while I'm reviewing the trailer, giving you a sense for what uh, what extra stuff you need to buy um, if you want it to work with your with your SUV or with your truck. Because um, Trailex doesn't sell the hitches and stuff like that, so you need to. You need to know what you need, uh, which took me a little bit of research to, to, to figure out. Um, so I'll take you through the the, the options um, and what everything looks like. I have a six inch extension, so I, I bought a slightly the slightly taller version. So the first option I chose was to do the uh, six inches taller, so the the, the GT3 has no problem, but the M3 would have been right on the edge of of fitting. So I wanted to make sure I could fit the M3 in there if I wanted to. Um, I've got the battery box, the wireless winch. Um, I think with the battery box comes LED lighting inside. Um, I'm trying to think of what else it has. What other options I chose? Uh, spare tire, alloy wheels, uh, ramps come with it and things like that. So I'm gonna take you through that today, uh, step by step, removing the car, using the winch, um, connecting it up to the, to the Tahoe, um, and and uh, disconnecting it from the Tahoe and putting it to, to rest for the you know for, for the time being. Uh, eventually, I'm going to put it up on jack stand so I won't don't get uh, flat spots in the tires. But um, for now, uh, I'm going to put it take it and put it back over at, at the, uh, the the new house, which we don't own yet. But the people are cool with me storing it there. So stick with me, and we'll learn a little bit about Trailix trailers today. Hard to commit with the backup camera freaking out at you. That ought to be close enough. Let's see. Yeah, I can probably make that work. We'll see. All right, let me get the camera up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, you know, one thing I will say with this thing you're gonna have a lot of keys. These are all the keys for the freaking different parts of the trailer. So a couple of things I had to do research on was, you know, one, I don't want to get my super expensive trailer stolen, even though it's insured. Um, you know, it is nice, and I don't want to get it, have it get ripped off. So I've got a lock here to lock it so that you can't lift the whatever this thing is called to to allow you to, to sit on the ball. And I've got this goofy master lock thing which I'm sure you could pry off with a crowbar pretty easily, but hopefully it just deters somebody from, from messing with it. And then I also bought a good old fashioned goofy club you know, on the wheel here. So I'm gonna take the, remove these right now. Um, but I'll, you know, again, I'll put these in the description. These are a couple of things you're gonna need to get. Okay, so the master lock. Got this thing in so tight. I should have taken this off first, but I wanted to get this on, on camera for you. So let's get this thing off. Theoretically. I'm gonna have to move the car. Oh, there we go. See, this thing doesn't sit so great. But it's the best we got. So don't do that. Get, take the thing off before you back the car up onto it. So you can see this thing here has a little sliding mechanism that then clamps onto the to the to the receiver, um, and then also the master lock provides you with this other sort of pin device, which you, know, you could easily cut these off. But you know maybe if it deters someone from wanting to jack my trailer then I'm all for it so this thing here stops that from being able to lock up and so this also I'll use on the trailer um, so I would put that on, on when the trailer is attached to the car 
Okay, so we're gonna hook this thing up. Make sure you can see. I think that should be pretty decent. Let's come over to the side a little bit more here. And forgive me, I'm no trailer expert, so I don't have model numbers off the top of my head, but um, this way safe um, um, hitch, or you know, way safe hitch, um, you know, the car is, the, the Tahoe is equipped with a towing package, so it has the air ride suspension that auto levels, um, comes equipped with the, you know, the, the normal, you know, connector for the, um, for, for the plug. Um, but the, the way safe hitch is actually locked onto the car, so this, this pin is a locking pin, so in my giant set of keys, there's a key on there to, to unlock that as well. So, it's locked here, so you can't take the ball off. It's locked here, so you can't take the um, take the, the hitch off. So you need a key to get that off. Uh, and then we'll lock the trailer on once we set set it down on the receiver. We'll lock this so that someone couldn't lift that up when it's actually on the car. So first thing, actually first thing is let's connect these. Actually first thing, let's get it on the car. It's a lot of first things. Set this aside. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll sit down on there. It's all the water it's sitting on the top from the rain. <clears throat> it's a lot easier if you do this on concrete. <sighs> There we go. We're sitting super level here. All right, so we're on the on the hitch. I'm gonna bring the wheel all the way up. Once you start the car, it'll level out. I've never seen any more than. Two 200 pounds on the actual hitch of the car. There's a scale here. So all this stuff, you know, Trailex sort of helps you, but you gotta kind of figure it out yourself. So I'll take that guesswork out for you. And everything I got, I love, so. If you're getting a trailer, this is what you need. All right, so we'll connect up. And always connect these, someone gave me a tip, connect these up this way, not this way. So if the thing did snap, it'll head to the ground rather than rip your bumper off. There's that. This is the, um, I put a little, non-load bearing little um whatever these things are called um, this is the 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 automatic lock so you know if, if the trailer disconnects then this pulls out and then the brakes are engaged so the brakes will lock up on the trailer so this is a safety mechanism that you want to have and you need some slack on all this stuff because when you turn the trailer you need some you need to be able to you don't want it to pull out so it's okay that these are hanging down a little bit. There's that, and then finally, nothing. It only goes in one way, and you lock it in. So trailer's connected, and then what I would do is take the master lock pin, which again, <laughs> this little thing you get hit off with a hammer, but and we're gonna lock the trailer onto the car and just one more thing to hopefully deter someone from wanting to try to steal it so if you're parked overnight at a parking lot or something like that the hitch is locked to the car the again I'll, I'll put I'll put in the description what what this is the way safe hitch all this assembly comes with the trailer and then you got the master lock kit and then next step is remove the Goofy club, which I don't think that's much. 
with the car loaded it's hard to get it because the you know the axles are sitting lower so that you can't really get it on the car on the on the trailer all that well but it'll deter so I, i'll leave this on when the when the um when the trailer is just parked let's say in, the, in my in my pole barn i'll put this on just to deter someone from wanting to rip off my awesome trailer see it gets tight in here because of the car sitting in the in the, in the trailer so there's the wheel club thing, like a hundred bucks or something like that. Reminds me of the, the 80s, the 90s with the club. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open it all up for you. I need to open it all up to get the, get the car unstrapped. I got it all locked up. So, you know, locking, there's a double lock on these. I'm gonna lock one of them. All the doors have actuators on them to keep them, keep them open. Even the doors are aluminum. So every stinking piece of everything on this thing, maybe the diamond plate isn't aluminum. Again, I've voiced my opinion on diamond plate. I hate diamond plate. But the construction of this thing is amazing. Um, everything's aluminum. The frame's aluminum. And that saves a lot of weight. So here's the, the car sitting inside here. So let's get the side open up for you. I think it's a little weird is that these locks use a different key than that lock. So you need a bunch of keys for this thing. So this is a twist, pull, and then self-guiding actuator so I can open the door of the car as low as my GT3 is I still have you know, a solid couple of inches of clearance so even with me sitting in the car I got plenty of room to, to open it up and you can add a second side but I just did the single the single side uh, entry you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this onto the road first I wasn't thinking I don't want to back the car into the into the grass so let me I'm gonna pull this thing, maybe I'll capture that and see, we'll see what it looks like. All right, so let's move this thing over. to real man it up back this sucker up pick the wrong way to turn every time. <laughs> Let's try this again. Straighten it out, Maddie. Straighten her out. Take out the neighbor's mailbox.
<laughs> I suck at this. You know what? Screw backing up. <laughs> you guys are gonna make fun of me. Let's let's just do it this way. Swing it like so. There we go. That's easier. No judgments, people. All right, let's try this again. Get this thing opened up. Oh, the other thing you want to do is you want to take this wheel off. You don't want to forget because you don't want to break it off if you hit a low spot or something. And then don't forget it. Like I might. So I'm just going to let it dry off here. And uh, Let's see. I'll put it down here. to the rear and then we'll talk more about the trailer so we have everything in here i don't think these are leds i think these are you know they might be but these are dirt certainly led backup lights tail lights i'll show you where the ramps come out here in a second this thing needs to be clean and detailed once I get moved in, I can start messing around with that kind of stuff. And that's the wrong one. All right. So all these doors are standard. You could add another side door, but I didn't really see the point. So the car's strapped down. Um, if you're a Porsche guy, uh, Renline makes a set of... Um, you know, frame connector so you can strap right to the frame so I actually have there's two red um, circles that I have the straps connected to so you'll need to I mean these these come standard but you'll need to buy these straps I just bought them right from um, right from trail X now the strap mechanism um, normally you would strap the wheels but because I have those special uh, things on the on the car, I don't have to strap the wheels. So it just, I think it's safer, it's cleaner, my wheels don't get jacked up. Uh, LED lighting inside comes standard. So there's a you know battery up front, it's assuming you get the battery. Or maybe it comes with a battery package, I don't know. So this isn't rocket science. Just pop it loose. One. So what I'm going to do eventually is I'll mark the trailer exactly where the car needs to sit, just to make it easier. Because you know this is to get the right distance up the front and rear in order to be able to la ratchet these down properly. It's a little tricky. <clears throat> These are really hard to reach. Um, I'll take these off when the car is on the ramps. It's just really hard to reach all the way under the car and unclip them. Okay, so now let's put the ramps down. I'll show you where the ramps come out. So this isn't rocket science. Just pop it loose. Uh, number 
on. So what I'm gonna do eventually is I'll mark the trailer exactly where the car needs to sit just to make it easier because you know this is to get the right distance up the front and rear in order to be able to la ratchet these down properly is a little tricky. <clears throat> These are really hard to reach. Um, I'll take these off when the car is on the ramps. It's just really hard to reach all the way under the car and unclip them. Okay. So now let's put the ramps down. I'll show you where the ramps come out. Let's do this from over here. Even the ramps are the ramps are aluminum. <clears throat> so there's a pin style master lock that comes with the trailer that locks the ramps in place. And so a little pin goes like so. And then this flips down and the ramps tucked away inside. And there's nylon. Runners, so they run smoothly <clears throat> underneath the trailer, alongside the frame. <clears throat> you pull too fast, this thing's gonna come flying flying out like that, which you don't want to do, but I seem to do it every time. And then you just sort of eyeball it. You want a Porsche, you want to eyeball the to the inside of the rear wheels because the rear wheels stick out a lot more than the front. So let me show you how this clamps on. I can't breathe. I'm gonna get in shape, guys, trust me. So there's your, there's your connection on the rail. You can move it, move it as you need to. Make sense? You see, I have just enough room. It takes a little bit of maneuvering to get that right, but it's easy. That's why if you just put marks on the floor for each car. Now, you know, I'm doing this by myself. I could back the car out, you know, just start it up and back it out, but I have a winch. The winch just, I don't know, I, if you're a real man, you probably just pull it in here, but I'm super anal about my, my, my baby. So I, um, I'm gonna use the winch to get it out with a tow hook. Might have to start it to get it rolling, but the other thing, so my, you know, one of these, clips is right here. So these are easy to get off. Let's see, just the, so it clips right to the frame of the car. It's actually, the Ren line piece goes where the jack point is. And it just saves my wheels. I mean, my wheels would be all rub crazy. And then the other one is in the back middle of the car. So let's hook up the winch. And once I get the car out, I'll show you the battery box and all that stuff.
<clears throat> the winch and the battery box are not or something you have to add. It doesn't come standard. Someone made a suggestion I replace this with nylon strap. I, I like that idea. So I'll probably do that at some point here in the not too distant future. So I take this to activate it. And then I have to engage it. tuck this little scrappy in here keep from messing up my fancy tow hook okay so I'm gonna put the car in neutral roll it out someone made a suggestion I replace this with nylon strap I, I like that idea so I'll probably do that at some point here in the not too distant future so I take this to activate it and then engage it. Okay, I always tuck this little scrappy in here. Keep from messing up my fancy tow hook. Okay, so I'm gonna put the car in neutral, roll it out. Looks like we're sloped enough that the car will come out. So let's do, let's do this angle for you. Middle of the road, hopefully no one drives down here. So I got the wireless thing in my, in my hand, get in the car. Let's see if it rolls. I think it will. If not, you would just start it up and move it backwards. Neutral, pull the parking brake. And we're not moving, let's see. I have to back it up a little bit. Should be good to roll it. <clears throat> the winch. So I just like, I mean, it'd be easy to just back the thing straight out, but I just like to be able to walk around the car, make sure the ramps are in the right spot while I'm you know, letting, it, letting it down. Let's see what we got here. Let me move this ramp out a little bit. Pull these off. It's a lot easier to get those off and trying to sneak under the low car. <clears throat> Good. Remember the rear is a lot wider than the front. And then what I can do, I can walk up and turn the steering wheel if I need to, just like if I were inside.
Yikes. That's a little quicker than I wanted it to be. So we're all, all good. Nice and straight. So see now the car is off, safe and sound. Again, obviously you could just back it up, it'd be just as easy, but I bought it, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> so here's the, the actual winch mechanism. The winch stand and the battery box. So, horn winch, here's the, here's the wireless adapter, which you sync, um, and uh, you know, obviously we got the simple winch battery box. These are an option you have to buy. You can also get a cabinet. You can get, there's, it's already set up for, um, the rails are set up for a, a tire bar if you wanted to. I don't really have a need for that. Also, I think it'd be smart to opt for the the spare tire just bolted to the frame so you just see super solid construction I think it's awesome there's your wheel stops come standard you could also put a box down here in the floor if you wanted to it's about 1500 bucks so I guess if I if I were giving you any advice I would add some sort of cabinet to it because you can put tools and stuff in it a roof it's aluminum Everything's constructed amazingly well. All right, so let's get the car disconnected. First, do the smart thing, put it in park. <laughs> That'd probably be a good idea. The car is, this is a, easily the dirtiest it's been. Car's in park. I can let a, more, a little more slack out of the Move the car. I still have this other strap on here. Not about that. <clears throat> it's always a little nerve wracking on the first ride, not knowing if he strapped it down properly or. <laughs> So, I noticed the axle lifts up right now, so there's a pretty big gap. New black wheels. Gotta get this car clean. So let me go get this out of the way. So all I'll do is I'll put some slack, I'll put some pressure on the, on the winch and just let it pull in on its own.
good. And I'll put a battery tender on this. I'll take all these out so I'm not bouncing around. I keep these in the garage. Get you a little closer view. yell at me there's dirt in there <laughs> you know, some of you would probably be cleaning that out and I'm thinking about it but for now when I detail the trailer I just don't have time now with the moving and everything <clears throat> gotta love Florida it's 7 a.m. I'm sweating Back up. And so, let's just get you one more view here of the trailer. It's pretty sweet. I need to clean it now. There's a little bit of dirt in there. So I'm gonna take it over to the new house and drop it off. I'll take the camera with me. Show you disconnect, show me disconnecting it. Oh, let me take these out first. Turn the lights off. And you know, I'm gonna get a battery tender and I'll just with the battery tender. I'm also gonna put the thing up on jack stand so I don't get flat spots on the tires. Just put it, set it up on the frame. I'm not in any, I'm really worried about doing that right this second, but. All right, so let me load up and I'll uh, drive over to the new house and I'll take it off. All right, so we're here at the new place. Put the wheel back on. stop you have to remove the pin stuff here and then get it off the car. Wrong way, people. You guys are yelling at the camera.
so disconnected. Things disconnected. Now I'm gonna just back it up manually. All right, so let's lock this thing up. First, we'll put this. There's a little thingy here that helps. It doesn't sit so well on this thing, but I think it will at least deter someone from messing with it. Hopefully, we put the pin in. We lock this down. Take this with me so the brakes are locked. Lock this up. And then we'll put the club thinger on the side. Trailer is at home. All right, guys, so back home. Let's take off the hitch. I should take the ball off first. I guess I could just leave it intact, but I don't know. See, this seems more logical to me. If I can put it back in the fancy box that it came in. So you pull this little pin. comes out, pin back in, and then this, I have a locking pin here, again I'll put all the descriptions or links to what you need to get. this key. Dumping water on the shell. There's that. That sucker off. And then it's the optional factory cover. Only Chevy would make this an option. I guess only an American car would do that. So that's the that's the way safe hitch. Car's back to normal. I wanted to show you that. 